A teenage driver being blamed for a crash that sent eight people to the hospital in Licking County. It happened just a few hours ago on Raccoon Valley Road in Granville. Well, chaos in a Kentucky prison. Rioting inmates torched the place, sending flames shooting into the sky. The fire is out now and everything's under control. Look at this. The problems all started last night when inmates set fires in some trash cans. Then they broke windows and threw rocks at the guards. A lot of people just don't have the money to pay for their bills, and that creates a gold mine for others. Across the country, self-storage businesses are selling off stuff left by people who couldn't pay their rent. Raging wildfires in Greece are forcing thousands of people to leave their homes. A state of emergency is in effect in the greater Athens area. ABC 6 News on your side. But first, this breaking news alert. We're following breaking news out of Maine, where the Coast Guard is searching for people swept into the ocean by a massive wave. Authorities say a group of people were sitting on the rocks at Arcadia National Park. That's near Bar Harbor. They were watching the effects of Hurricane Bill when the wave hit. At least five people were swept off the rocks. Two people were rescued and taken to the hospital. We'll have more on this story at ABC 6 News at 11. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jake Wittenberg. Right now, police investigating the mysterious death of a man inside of a pickup truck. He was found behind the wheel on Myrtle Avenue in East Columbus. ABC 6 reporter Steve Levine is there with the very latest. A developing story this evening. A home raided by SWAT officers as a part of the investigation into a break-in at a Delaware shooting center. Dozens of guns, knives, and ammunition were stolen on Monday. ABC 6's Mary Jedlicka live in Delaware with the very latest on this, Mary. Just doesn't seem like enough, Dana. Not at all. Yeah. Not a good situation for those folks at all. Nightmare. You called it. Cooler weather. Here it is. Yeah, we got cool weather out there today, everybody. It's going to be another cool one into tonight. ABC 6 News on your side. But first, this breaking news alert. We are following breaking news out of Zanesville right now. Reports an officer and his canine partner have been shot. The Zanesville Times recorder reporting officers were searching the area around Market Street and have other areas blocked off right now. Well, we have a crew on the way and we'll have any updates as soon as we get them. More breaking news tonight. Reality TV star Ryan Jenkins, the suspect in a grisly murder of his wife, a swimsuit model, has been found dead. Canadian police tell ABC News he was found in a hotel room where he apparently hanged himself. Authorities in the U.S. and Canada have been searching for Jenkins for the past week. Jasmine Fiore's body was found stuffed in a suitcase on August 15th. Jenkins was best known for his role on the VH1 show, Megan Wants a Millionaire. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jake Wittenberg, new at 11, a vigil for health care reform. Tonight, a peaceful call for change. Members of several churches marched through East Columbus. Mary Jedlicka has a look at their message. New at 11, an Ohio family is questioning their son's reported suicide at a base in Iraq. The military claims that 19-year-old Kiefer Wilhelm died on August 4th. Now his family near Mansfield believes the facts just don't add up. Four of his fellow officers and soldiers are now accused of abusing him with excessive exercise and cruelty. Wilhelm's father says that his son would have never killed himself without being pushed to the absolute limit. New information about breaking news we brought you at 6. A 7-year-old girl is dead after being swept out to sea. A large wave on the coast of Maine swept three people into the water. It happened at Acadia National Park, that's near Bar Harbor in Maine. The group was sitting on the rocks watching the effects of Hurricane Bill when the large wave hit. Park officials say that they'd been putting up warnings about the dangers with the hurricane, but that wasn't stopping people. The waves were 12 to 15 feet, and it was a nice sunny day, so people didn't care so much about getting closer to the water, but that's a recipe for disaster, really. Park Rangers and the Coast Guard immediately launched an air and sea rescue mission and did rescue all three people, but the little girl was not able to be revived. And that's not only the death blamed on Hurricane Bill. Yesterday, a man was killed in the rough seas off the Florida coast. Witnesses say the body surfer went under and never resurfaced. His body was found later about a half mile away. Other surfers say the water and waves were so rough that their bodies were thrown into the ocean floor, causing bruises and black eyes. Tonight, a teen facing charges after leading troopers on a high-speed motorcycle chase that ended in a crash. It happened in Ross County, south of Chillicothe. Troopers say they tried to stop 19-year-old Jared Davies for a speed violation on Highway 23, but he took off, leading them on a nine-mile chase. At times, it got up to 100 miles per hour. Davies crashed on Three Locks Road that's north of Stony Creek Road. He had minor injuries.
In this neighborhood, families expected to feel safe with a police officer living nearby. We never thought they'd actually pull a gun out or anything, but he really did. And Jessica Clark says that gun was pointed at her family. I looked up and he seriously had a gun in the window and my daughter was across the street and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's really not just threatening. After days of threats, Clark came armed herself with a video camera. <laughs> Did you do anything to provoke this? No, he's just drunk all the time. The man in the video is Officer Brian Smith. He's a 19-year veteran of the Columbus Division of Police now under internal investigation. Police say Smith's badge and gun were taken away because of repeated allegations against him. His fellow officers were called to his home twice on July 4th with reports he was tormenting his neighbors. Went back to his house, stood out on the back porch and started firing a gun. We dug deeper and found that Smith is already under investigation for allegations of unbecoming conduct as a police officer. And last year, he was disciplined for violating department rules. Police say Smith may be fired. We tried to speak with him at his home, but no one answered the door. We're just innocent people over here trying to abide the law. He knows the law, so he's outsmarting us. While the investigation continues, Clark and her family say they'll feel more safe by staying indoors. Jake Wittenberg, ABC6, on your side. But Joyce I, and Jerry Hunt say they had good intentions. That said the usual things that toys say. They bought the record and play phone center as a gift for their granddaughter and five-year-old niece. I was shocked. When they brought the wide-eyed Elmo into their home, they couldn't believe what they thought he said. Who wants to have sex? What bad sex? My niece looked at me and Jerry looked at me and we kind of like... What bad sex? Whoever's working the quality control in the company, you know, that's maybe at the end of the assembly line, didn't do their job. After calling Fisher Price, the Hunts received an apology and an offer for a full refund. ABC6 also called the company and found out Joyce was not the only person to complain about Elmo's borderline potty mouth. Fisher Price says Elmo clearly says four, five, six. What bad sex? Fisher Price also tells us we carefully write, review, and record songs and lyrics for our toys to ensure they are suitable for children. We stand by the product. We put their claim to the test. Are you kidding me? This is a kid's toy. Why is this for kids? <laughs> this is really shocking. Four or five because it's completely lost. That's what it sounds like to me. And it's obvious. The hunts don't want other families getting caught by surprise. Wow. I just, just feel like other parents and other grandparents should be aware to check the t toys like this before they hand them over to children. For now, Elmo sits without batteries. ABC6 is on your sign. If you've purchased the toy, Fisher Price says they have no plans for a recall, but if you have any questions about the record and play phone center, Fisher Price says give them a call.